Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center because I want to I want to work a little bit on the awesome Lenovo SR650 which I want to have as a Proxmox server I want to have it like in well in summer I can use the Proxmox uh, the big powerful server because it uses quite a bit of power but in summer I have lots of solar energy and um, it doesn't matter if I have this server running because I'm already producing way too much solar. Spring, summer and fall I'll have plenty of power to do that. In winter I have this tiny little one, the TerraMaster and it's also a Proxbox server. I'm running everything on it right now uh, so that is doing awesome but I would like a little bit more power to be quite honest. Rendering out these sometimes way too long rambling videos in 4K takes a bit of um, performance. So we are gonna ready the server for uh, that I can do that task. And I actually wanna put in some GPUs in it. So uh, I was hoping to do that today, put the GPUs in and hopefully see the server not, uh, well, being able to boot. We're gonna keep it in short things. We're gonna just put the GPUs in today and um, see them in there. So uh, yeah, let's go um, let's get the server out. I can I can slide it out of the rack. It's on rails. And we can take the cover off. This is the inside of the server and the server is prepared to to have GPUs in it. Here is the back of the CPU and that's the front. Well, this is what we have to work with. It's not a lot, but it's just enough. And there is a limit to how big the GPUs can be in this server. Uh, here's a GPU and uh, you can see it comes very close. This is not actually the GPU that I was hoping to put in this server. I want to be able to do some AI on this server, uh, make a virtual machine and run some AI on it. And uh, this is the NVIDIA Tesla K80. It's a good GPU, but it's a generation too old to be really good. But I'm hoping to get the, M, the M40, but, um, and I have found that card at a reasonable price, but delivery of that card would make so that it would arrive when I'm not here. Um, I'm going on vacation in uh, in a bit. Uh, so we're gonna put this K80 in, in its place. It has the same size. So let's, um, let's get this riser card up. And it's a bit dusty. Uh, this riser card has two PCI X3 PCIe 3 x16 uh, slots that we can put GPUs in. We need to put it in the top slot because the bottom slot it goes down too far. So um, I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna have to keep those. Si I don't know why, but these keeps disappearing on me. So we're gonna put the GPU in. Yeah, if someone has an M40 card that they're not using, uh, <laughs> my mailing address is, is not that secret. I would really love one. So um, when I slide that in, you can see the, uh, the amount of space here. Uh, they're not wasting space, that's for sure. So we're gonna pop that in the bottom here. Uh, unfortunately, it's the ugly side that sticks up. It would look much better if it was the other side that was sticking up. Then uh, power for this, I have a connector over here uh, that goes to the to the system board, and uh, the power connectors for the SR650 are really small. So this is a normal eight-pin connector for a GPU, and the power connector in the Lenovo machine. See how tiny that is compared to. So um, it's not a normal connector. 
uh, just gonna leave that over there and for a second when I was preparing for this video I thought oh I'm screwed I'm screwed I'm screwed I'm screwed I'm screwed but I'm not I actually have a connector that will go in and also fit in the GPU here the GPU doesn't use a normal 8 pin connector which this one is this is for your normal uh, PC or gaming PC setup there is like uh, 12 volt in the yellow wires and there's like ground in the black wires and you can see that the last bit here is all ground so there's like five ground pins and three uh, power pins whereas the connector for this GPU they have like four power pins and four ground pins uh, it has a special name I forget it but it's an 8 pin ESC or ES, ES something something um, but I had that so we're gonna pop that in and uh, yeah I have a good power connector right down here so I think we can we can lure that connector under the GPU card the pin of the GPU is right there bit of a stiff cable to get in I'm confident that's not gonna be the main issue for us ah, it's in and then the the other end here connected there now, there is no active cooling on this GPU so it relies on getting airflow from the fans up here um, and I hope that is all good but I really don't know so uh, yeah I do actually have another card that I want to put in as well this tiny one <laughs> I have a funny story about this um, I uh, have a friend uh, Jim hi Jim I don't, he, I don't think he watches my videos but um, let's say that he used to be a, a, a Tesla fan and then with uh, what what is lately has been going on he is most definitely not a Tesla fan anymore so when I purchased this car I, I, I told my friend Jim oh Jim I bought a Tesla you must be so happy and uh, he was not for a split second there he was very pissed at me until I said oh it's an Nvidia Tesla P4 card so uh, yeah, I got him good there so we have a little space over here for an additional um, PCI Express port can we see that from up there it's down here it's that slot it has a little uh, it has an x16 connector down there and we can remove this thing and we can pop that card in there uh, it's gonna be great uh, that is also not cooled from anywhere else so um, yeah I have to hope that it gets airflow enough but I'm gonna pop that in can't really see it when the camera is in the way so I need to, need to make sure that we hit the, the PCI Express there. there so two GPU cards both of them rather old I must admit this one very old this one just normally old the P4 card here doesn't need additional power it gets um, I think it's 75 watts from the PCI Express port when it's an X16 if it's an X1, X2, X4, X8 uh, the normal power is uh, 25 watts but 75 watts if it's an X16 so so far so good I think we can put the lead bag on <laughs> Sesame in and slide server. Okay, we are out again. I forgot something. Um, I have two CPUs in this, so I can use a uh, riser card number two over here. And I actually, um, I have a little thing that I want to put in. It's it's one of these. Um, I should promote this I sell these in my tiny little shop uh, my playhouse shop links in the description 
um, it's a smart one because it's an NVMe but this one this uh, I'm only selling the adapter the NVMe you have to provide yourself but the adapter you can remove all these pins get rid of them so you can put the adapter in if you only have an X4 slot so uh, all of this is uh, for an X16 this is for an X8 this is for an X4 and that's the minimum it will go but um, yeah it, uh, it fits very well in a server even in an old server that only has X8 slots so I'm putting it over in this riser card just because I think if I run this over here uh, that's gonna be plenty of heat for it to deal with uh, I do already have a, uh, a boot device down here there is a NVMe SSD in the system uh, that lives there so I'm gonna boot on that but I might want some quicker storage for something so uh, we are gonna put that in just because we can okay I think we're good to go I even uh, put the uh, Proxmox 9 on this USB stick oh, we can pop in there and we can turn on the server and we should get something on the screen I'll bring you closer memory initializing um, yeah I actually got rid of the memory error in the last video so there's a win and it's it's now 2024 it says down here so might be the latest version I don't know so let's see okay a lot of information uh, I can reach the server on the BMC there but uh, I was hoping to uh, oh now it works to do a one-time boot on the USB key and there is a whole bunch of bootable devices here mostly network cards so I think we need to do that one is it gonna boot Proxmox? any bits? it sees some drives um, I should probably have done some rate configuration on this but I just want to install Proxmox on the internal SSD so let's see if it what it comes up with ha! ready to install Proxmox and it's version 9.0 um, all of these Proxmox are the same so I'm just gonna cut to the uh, cut, cut to the chase okay it actually works it um, I installed Proxmox on it I had to take the graphics cards out and then install Proxmox and then put the graphics cards back in but right now Proxmox is running and I can see both of the graphics cards from the computer in the living room but I don't know if you can uh, spot the issue though there's a tiny little thing there in the background might be able to notice it maybe it's the fact that I'm yelling at you it's um, very noisy so uh, at least one of the graphics cards it doesn't like and I'm guessing it could very well be the Nvidia K40 which it doesn't like because um, this graphics card is not it's not on Lenovo's list of graphics cards so if it doesn't know it it might want to make sure that it's cool and spin the fans full throttle it's loud but um, yeah I'm gonna end it here thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and hear me again maybe in the next video less noise have a nice day bye bye